Get ready for a double hit of New Zealand comedy with Strassman. Hi, Jesus. Starring Ewan Gilmore and Sandra Lee. <laughs> then it's pulp comedy. With all the singing, swinging and entertaining you'd expect from New Zealand's favourite hour of comedy. Strassman and pulp comedy, Tuesday night on New Zealand's 2. Tonight's edition of Space On 2 may contain coarse language. We advise discretion. <laughs> the show. Hello. You know me and Jackie, but Hi. one person you don't know is a good friend of mine, Geezer Guy. He's over there in the corner. What's up? Give us a little wave. He's going to be playing us some delicious tunes all night mm. long. Yes, he will. Now, he's also a friend of a man called Stinky Jim. What kind of a name is that, you may ask? Well, we'll find the answer to that pretty shortly. Also, a man called Slim from Christchurch are going to be in the studio to play live. And who else? Chad, Chad? Taylor. Well, what's his vibe? He's an author. He writes books. And we also have a chat to Blink-182. If that's not enough to celebrate, yesterday was MC Hammer's 37th birthday. Celebration! Let's have a look at the news. Alright. Russell Crowe, New Zealand, even no matter what the Aussies say, he won us an Oscar. Good on you, Russell. And he might be playing the new James Bond. The director of the new James Bond flick says Russell would be perfect. He's a bad boy, he can throw the villains around, and he can give a bit of a wry comment as well. So Russell hasn't commented, but Robbie could be out of there. I'm a little bit gutted. And also Russell's got his own band. They're called 30 Odd Foot of Grunt. This is the clip here. Now, we're not sure whether or not we should show you this one. We've decided to leave it up to you. So what you've got to do is go to spacenz.com. Tell us if you want to see this clip. And, and, and just the same, tell us as if you don't want to see it, because otherwise we're going to play it. It's kind of trailer trash with all his friends from Australia. Some baby, that's his girlfriend it's there. It's painful, really, isn't he's it? He's a bogan. He surely is. To, he is a bogan. Look, Look he's that. a bogan. <laughs> he's got an Oscar, but he's a bogan. Also at the Oscars last Ooh, week. Bogan. Hold on. Yep, I'm okay. sure of the bogan. Oh, there he is. He's oh, a bogan. Oh, that hair. What about the hair? Get rid of the beard, I say. And the ginger hair. Also, the Oscar. Yeah, the Oscars last week. There's Bia. She was in a film called Dance in the Dark, which we reviewed last week. Now, the Oscars, you know, traditionally you walk up the red carpet and everyone goes, oh, look what she's wearing, look what he's wearing. Bjerg arrived wearing an outfit in the shape of a swan. She didn't walk up and smile at the cameras. She walked up and promptly laid an egg. She's probably hiding that in her, uh, in her dress for quite some time. Good on her. That's the film Erin Brockovich there. Julia Roberts, she won an Oscar for her role in that. She's got bloody good teeth. She does. Her dentist, she does. Her dentist as a child said, now, if any of my patients ever win an Oscar, I'm going to donate a toothpaste, a tube of toothpaste to every child in the neighbourhood. So he stocked up, got 10,000, and he's now distributing them. Gutted. What? But that's a nice treat, isn't it? That is a nice treat. No, it's not. The band's called Dodgy. They've been described as the clowns of Britpop, but now they're down on their luck. They want you to help them out in recording their new album. What you've got to do is send them £25, which is about 80 New Zealand dollars. Go to the website here, and what they're going to give you is they're going to give you a demo. They're also going to give you cheap tickets to their concert and a credit on their album. That's right, they're going to say thank you to you on their new album. So go to the website, £25. It's not too much, it's not too much to It's quite a lot. I don't think it's too much. I think it's quite a lot. I like the band too. Pardon me, breaking news, Justin Z are going to be supporting Coldplay on their um, Australian tour. Who'd have thought? Chris Martin, the lead singer of Coldplay, selected Z out of 14 other bands and thought they were top-notch. Saw them at the big day and went, ooh, they're good, ooh, ooh. Now, if you thought Madonna didn't have enough money, she's be going to be given £1 million to stay on the new BMW commercial. It's going to be directed by her husband, Guy Ritchie. And if that's not enough of a perk, she also gets to choose the BMW of her choice to drive away in. The new clip, we, we told you we were going to play it last week. A lot of people wouldn't play it, but we're going to go. We're going to, here it is, Madonna, what it's like to be... I like that. I think that's bloody good, do you? Yeah, very nice. I love how she actually puts the rubbish in the bin. And she, but she throws away the Zippo. 
Yeah, now, if you're a Madonna fan, which I'm sure you are, you'd be glad to know this. Well, probably actually a bit sad. She's touring, first time in eight years, but she's only going to be doing it in the America and the UK. We don't know that. She might come to New Zealand. She might put a New Zealand leg. One, just a leg? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's what they call oh, it in the touring world. Thank you for educating me. No problems. They were supposed to come last year, but they had to postpone. They promised us they'd come back, and they did. We caught up with them earlier on today, Blink-182, and talk some ass. Retarded and uh, sexually retarded. <laughs> what is what is a sexual retard? Sexual retard. Sexual retard. An example of a sexual retard would be somebody who plays a professional sport but spends his time sticking his fingers in other guys' butts. Well, that kind of thing happened in Gridiron. Yeah, but usually it's it's yeah. asked for and wanted. Yeah, <laughs> usually it's confined to the shower area. Like Mark and I, pretty we, we seem to have uh, a fascination with uh, anything to do with the body, um, whether it be good, bad, or uh, or just a little bit, you know, messed up. We have a fascination with uh, girls, and obscenities, food, and anything that will offend people or ourselves or our, our own family. Does your mom sit at home and go, "I'm so proud of those boys. They're gone. They're talking about bums and anal sex and masturbation, <laughs> and all that yeah. kind of thing." I mean, I don't know my mom. Uh, Rock and roll. My, my yeah, mom is no. just in denial, I think. My family was never proud of me, proud of me before. <laughs> so it's not new. So it's not, new, not like new, you know? So what do you, do you think, they're like, when you're getting the hair, when your mom's getting your hair down, she's like, my little son is in black one. No, no. This is such a boy doing. She goes, I have no son. <laughs> Late night, come home, work sucks. I know. Bands like Westlife, bands like um, Backstreet Boys, what, what do you think you can learn? From bands like that, um, uh, how not to cut your hair? Yeah. Really? Like, what about secret dressing? Is that quite a good? What not to wear? I don't know. You know what? I don't think that. Who are we to say that those bands dress bad and cut their hair bad? I mean, who is Mark to say that they look bad? That's true. That's <laughs> a good know? point. Because many people might call you boy bands, like harder bands than you, such as Pantera and Metallica, might be. They're kind of a boy band. What do you say to people that might call you boy bands? Look until they kick our ass, so whatever they want to call us is cool. I mean, yeah, okay, we're boy bands. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next thing? I mean, we've got dwarfs in there. Right. There's so many faces that you guys have touched on. Yeah, we've why. Yeah, there's not much. We, uh, we're going we're to have Travis start making up the jokes. Like, we talk about like, bestiality potential. and necrophilia and all that stuff, and incest and masturbation of poop and then Travis the end of the day when we're all alone <laughs> will bust out the gnarliest stuff you've ever heard I mean I can't even repeat it I cannot and I will not poop poop option poop. now after the break we've got a new one from a band called the Doves and we meet the silent achiever the Yoda of New Zealand dance music that's right that's stinky Jim those at home. Now, I quite like Blink-182, and you saw their Dominic interviewing them, and uh, my mum always said to me, Jackie, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So they left me alone with Blink and some donuts. Oh, oh shall I explain yeah, the donut, donut challenge? In my bag, I have a donut. <laughs> what you have to do is eat the entire donut without licking your lips. If you do that, you can have the star card. But you can't put the whole thing in at one go. Okay. Yeah, my girlfriend. <laughs> 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 Uh, I can see it, it's just right there. What if he licks it on my lips? I'll lick the tongue! I'll lick the face! I'll lick my lips! Look at all the shit on my face, come on! And my girlfriend likes you well and 